let's say you need to do some functional programming inside of Java. Now, Java normally is for object-oriented programming, and you create a method just as you normally would. But you also have your main function, and so you sometimes need to be able to call other functions inside the main function without having to worry about classes and stuff like that. So let's look at how we would create a function so we can call it from within main. Well, there's a couple things I want to point out real quick. First is that main is public and static. Now, public means that it's accessible to any class, any program. It's publicly accessible. That's the security modifier on it. Static means that the class that main is part of does not have to be instantiated. So that's an important thing, because anytime I have a static function, I can only call other static functions, or I have to create a class, and then call the objects function. So let's take a look at how we're going to do this. I also will need to call public, so that way I have an accessor modifier, and static. And then I'm going to choose my return type. I can, for example, choose void foo, and I'll pass no parameters. I have my open and close parentheses, and I've created my function. Now, inside this function, I'm going to just print out a little comment saying that I'm inside foo. Now, to call my function, I'm going to go inside my main function and just call foo. Now, if you're familiar with C++ and functions there, you know that my function has to either be before where I call it, or, and probably more appropriately, I need to define a function prototype up at the top, or maybe in an external header file. Now, this is very typical in C++. However, in Java, this is not the case. Java goes and looks in advance for all my functions, and then it goes through a process of sorting them. That means I do not have to define my function. That means I do not have, that means I do not have to define my function prototypes because they're not required. If I come up here and run, you'll notice that it shows inside foo. So this is a nice advantage in working with Java compared to working with something like C++. Now, Java is a little bit more specific and a little bit more particular about certain things. So, for example, in C++, I could have a function that returns a value. And in something like Java, it would look like this. So notice I still have public static, and then my return type is now the data type I'm returning. And this could be any primitive data type, or it could be a class. And then I have my function name. If I print out something, then I'm going to call it from my main. However, if you notice, I have an error with bar, and Visual Studio Code has highlighted this for me. The error is I have failed to return, and because I do not use a return command, it's going to give me this error. So I'm just going to return a value. I'm going to say return 1. Now it lets me do this. Just like with C++, if I have a return statement, I don't necessarily have to store that value in a variable. So I don't have to say something like int x equals bar. I can simply just call bar. It's not quite as effective, and I might get a warning about it in some compilers, but it's just something to kind of keep in mind. Finally, what am I going to pass into this? So let me remove this function real quick just to clean it up. 
let's say I want to pass in a value, but I want to leave my default foo command as well. Well, I can do this with function overload. Notice this looks the same, except now I'm going to specify a string, and it's going to be arg, short for my argument. Notice I have two functions with the exact same name. The difference is one takes a parameter, one does not. So this is a function overload, and I'm passing a value in. I need to, just as with C++, specify a data type, and then the parameter name. Then if I need to have multiple parameters, I'm going to separate them out with commas. Here I'm passing a string, which is what's expected. If I go and run, notice it says I'm inside foo. And then my second time, because I pass in an argument, because I did function overloading, the one that takes a parameter is now the one that's used, and I print out the string that was passed into it. Work with functions in Java is a little simpler than C++, because I don't have to deal with the prototypes. But I have other available options, just like I do in C++, such as writing my functions, passing in parameters, returning values, and even overloading my functions. So that's just a quick overview of how to do functions inside of Java.